Hey guys, it's Matt with bleepinjeep.com and today we're working on the drip rails. I'm going to take these off and replace them with black drip rails. But first check out my website bleepinjeep.com. We've got all the best off-road videos on YouTube and other boring stuff. We also have hats and t-shirts and stickers. Check it out bleepinjeep.com. Do subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. Let's get started. Alright guys, so your drip rail has this little attachment on the top here. Just kind of a protective cover. Some are black, some are chrome and some are the color of your Jeep. It just really depends. But uh, a lot of times you'll be, uh, you'll be off-roading or whatever and a tree limb will catch this and just rip it right off. Now it's pretty easy to take them off, but it's really hard to take them off without damaging them. And that's what you're gonna, gonna need to do if you're gonna go to the junkyard and grab you an extra set. Now I've got a few tips for you. Um, one is that the earlier model Jeeps come off a lot easier. They started by just using some clips and they would unclip uh, later on they started using glues and then they started using stronger glues is what I've found. So the later model Cherokees, they're really hard to get off without damaging them. So if you want a donor, look for an earlier model Cherokee and you can take them off pretty easily. First you'll just need to open the door and then you're just going to take and push up from the bottom. Putting them on is a little bit trickier. Let me go get my other set and we'll give it a shot. All right, here's the trick to getting this thing back on. Inside of each one of these is four or five little clips. Now you're gonna need to remove those clips and we're gonna put those clips on the Jeep and then put this back on. Now if you're just taking yours off and putting it back on the same Jeep, then it'll probably just snap right on. But if you're transferring it from one to other, the other, for some reason it's a lot more difficult. So I find if you take a uh, an ice pick, you can put it right at the top of that clip, shove it in there, and then you can take a screwdriver and hopefully pry that right out. There we go. Alright, now I can take those clips and put them on the drip rail here on the gutter. It's a lot easier to put them on right where they came off uh, because over the years people have painted this and whatnot and it kind of builds up so it's easiest just to put it right there where it came from. In my case though I'm adding a roof rack and I want more support uh, and the roof rack supports are here and here so I'm going to put the clips uh, in those roof rack support areas. Okay, now let's see if this will cooperate. I'm gonna line it up and start on one end. See if I can snap it into place. Come on. Alright, there it is. Now that would have been impossible without uh, taking those clips out. Believe me, I tried. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to check out the website bleepinjeep.com. We've got all the best off-road videos on YouTube, none of the boring stuff. We've got hats and t-shirts, stickers, all kinds of great stuff. Check it out, bleepinjeep.com. Do subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out our Facebook page as well. Leave your comments and questions below and we'll see you next time.